How's it going people and welcome back to the aftermath. Today's subject is going to be all of the positives that I've taken from this experience. Now last time I said I wanted to go through the good, the bad and the ugly. Last video was not the negatives but more so the challenges that I faced throughout the experience but this video is going to be all of the positives, all of the things that I've taken away from the prep itself and the first thing I want to start on actually is you guys and the support system that I've gained throughout this experience. I obviously went into this process having never done YouTube before, having never consistently used social media in general, posted infrequently, but I've never been as active on social media as I have done across the last four or five months. And the reason why I didn't before was just because it isn't something that comes naturally. I don't think that's an excuse. I don't think it comes naturally to many people. You have to force yourself to do it. But I always use that as an excuse. I always shied away and just kind of hid in the, the shadows a little bit with my own sort of journey. I would focus more so on the work with my clients, etc. So putting myself out there throughout this process was actually a huge thing for me and something that I was incredibly nervous to do going into it. I didn't know what the sort of response would be from starting a YouTube channel, from putting myself as a person out there openly to the world, documenting the prep itself, which was something that was the first time that I've really gone through something to that extreme as well. So it was all kind of a, a big experience for me in itself and I never expected to have gained such a, a family of, of supporters already having only started what four or five months ago the support that you guys gave me throughout that process was honestly one of the biggest things that actually got me through just all of the comments all the little messages just having people watch my videos was weird at first like having, having people say oh yeah I watched your YouTube the other day mate it was, it was really good stuff like that it was kind of weird but amazing and I grew to just love kind of the fact that I had all of these people invested in me in my journey and, and, and uh, it was a huge thing and I think there was a certain level of pressure that came along with that but that was hugely positive for me I think there is a, a, a definite positive side to a certain level of pressure and I wanted to put that on myself by being kind of open on social media as I said and that was a definite definite positive so yeah I know I've said it many times but just thank you to each and every one of you that does watch my YouTube channel does follow me on Instagram does kind of interact and engage it's one of the biggest things like aside from watching making sure you guys are engaging commenting speaking to me asking me questions like I want to be actively helping you guys as much as possible so always feel free to just kind of reach out a message but as much as you guys have supported me I want to then support you back I think it's brought me a lot closer to a lot of important people in my life as well one of those being cal cal coached me through the entire process and having the privilege to not only have worked alongside him under the muscle mentors and now pro coach over the last good few years but also to be a client underneath him and see that other aspect of kind of the relationship that we have and, and to have him as a as a mentor and as a friend and someone that has accelerated my personal growth from a coaching standpoint from a personal standpoint as well um i'm hugely hugely grateful for that so that's one just all of my even like my, my family my, my 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 friends my girlfriend yasmin like it, it brought me so much closer to, to them as well in terms of again just just having that feeling of like unity i was going through a process that is inevitably very selfish. Anyone that's been through a, a prep knows that it's a selfish thing to do. And not that that's a bad thing, but it's just the nature of it, right? You are 100% focused on everything that you are doing and everything that comes outside of that thus becomes less important and falls down on your priority list. But to have that feeling of, of, of your goals being as important to other people as they are to yourself, was incredible as well and I definitely like felt that so much from people and really kind of made me realize how getting you know, like emotional speaking about it like how much of a supportive family and, and, and circle that I do have especially in the form of like my, my grandparents my, my granddad and my nan my mum my girlfriend Any, anyone that's read through my comments has probably seen my my granddad commenting on there and uh, it's probably something that not many people can say but uh, again it's something that I'm incredibly like grateful to have in terms of a support figure of, of him himself so yeah if you're watching this granddad appreciate you more than you know something that I think I, I will cherish forever in terms of those support systems so that's one of the biggest things aside from that from a personal perspective I have fallen back in love with training and 
bodybuilding and this whole process more than I could have ever imagined. I've always kind of loved training. I started training at 14, 15. It was just my thing. I was always the, the, the kid in class that went to the gym, that trained, that took fucking prepared meals and, and ate those at lunchtime at school whilst everyone else ate shitty canteen food. Like I was just that guy. And I did lose that for a couple of years, obviously going through the, the challenges that I faced with my health and from a, from a kind of physical but also mental health perspective and, and those kind of years that, that, that did pull me away from training and that did kind of not make me fall out of love with it but just 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 make me not not able to prioritize that like the priority was just kind of getting through the day getting through the next week rather than having any specific physique goals and to be back in a position now where i'm feeling happy i'm feeling healthy i'm feeling back in a position where i can truly commit to the the goals that i've always wanted to set out to achieve and the self-belief that has come alongside that as well i think again going into it i did have a lot of doubts. I wasn't 100% confident in my abilities in terms of being able to do what I what I set out to do here. I think that came from those previous years in terms of obviously not being very consistent in terms of my ability to train or, or, or kind of I went through periods of time where my nutrition was abysmal and I just didn't look after myself at all and I think coming out of that going into the other end of the extreme was very overwhelming at points, especially at the beginning. But I'm the kind of person that if I'm doing something, I wanna fucking do it properly. I'm not just gonna half ass it. You will see with the YouTube channel, I haven't just put out a video every now and again. Like I've put out a video every single week without fail, if not two videos, which is gonna be two videos for the foreseeable future. With the photo shoot, I didn't just get lean. I got as fucking lean as I could. I didn't just kind of do my training or kind of do my cardio or kind of do my nutrition. I stuck to everything. And I think that self-belief has grown massively across the last three or four months of this process. And that's something I think that I can now carry through to the rest of my, my journey. And I think that like it's such a weird feeling of having one big thing come to an end, but I've never had the end of something feel so much like the beginning. And that is exactly how I, I feel at the moment. I feel like this process for me was just the, the very start of this whole journey that I'm about to go down. And I'm so excited. It almost gives me like goosebumps feel, thinking about it now because I know that I'm, I'm now in a position that I can capitalize on the, 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 the situation that I'm in. I am incredibly privileged and grateful to be surrounded by the people that I am surrounded by from a professional standpoint. I am kind of part of one of the biggest, if not the biggest coaching team in the UK and soon to be the world. Surrounded by the best coaches, surrounded by kind of some of the, the best athletes in the industry and, 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 and kind of having their support and, and, and them as part of my circle as well is, is huge. So yeah, I'm just very excited to see where I can take this over the next five, 10 years. I've got some big goals written down on paper for, for, for the next five, especially, and they will all be documented on here, which will be very exciting. I can't wait to kind of go through that whole process with you guys as well. And, and again, that's the whole thing. Like I'm taking you guys with me here. It's not just me. I want to kind of, yeah, just go through this journey with everyone. I think that that's the final thing that I wanted to really wrap up on here in terms of just the, the clarity in terms of the direction that I want to go in with my own personal goals, my business goals as well. Uh, with my online coaching, I did go through a period of time where I just felt fairly lost. Like I didn't really understand understand my position in the industry I didn't understand I think I was just going through a period of building my own identity really and having lost that for a little while I feel like I've really gained that back now the biggest thing that's allowed me to gain that back is this and like having Eddie on board to like capture it all and just allow me to just chat in the way that I'm doing now like I'm just speaking to you guys in person I've never felt kind of so comfortable on camera and I think that's a really freeing feeling in terms of just being able to be myself on camera being able to get that kind of across to you guys and yeah I think that's one of the kind of most important things things for me but I think just that that clarity in terms of, of, of where we're going and and what we're doing with this that's the biggest thing so yeah I was emotional Jesus Christ um, <laughs> I felt like that went really deep but yeah, again, hopefully that was valuable. Hopefully that gave you a good insight into all of the things that I have gained from this experience and where we're taking this. So yeah, as always, do that YouTuber stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you all. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Back of my head, the thoughts killing me. I don't have a second to spare when not willing.